Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, you're probably wondering why it's a little bit dark when I was just going to bed and this has happened. My Therophosa apophysis, my juvenile, has flipped on its back. It's been like this now for around about, I'd say about an hour or so. Uh, the abdomen was looking very, very dark. So I knew it was going to... Uh, flip over very very soon. Uh, I tried to give it a feed this morning and it decided to walk away from its meal so it's around about 11.45 on the night here so I'm going to uh, leave him alone and uh, let him continue his malt and uh, we'll see what he looks like in the morning. So guys, it's around about 9 o'clock in the morning here. I haven't uh, opened my curtains yet, that's why it's so dark in my bedroom. So if I just get my light, and we'll shine it on the actual tranchler. And there he is, guys. Maybe look like a little bit of a mess. <laughs> but the malt is just in front of the spider. The spider is just behind the malt and uh, yeah all his legs are there and his pedipalps are there as well and there we go ladies and gentlemen a little bit of a better look at my juvenile therophosa apophysis and hopefully maybe this time next year he will be mature and I'll compare him up with my adult female. I've actually had two of these before in the past and both of them got to around about the seven inch in leg span and when they, when they actually come mature they actually obtain a purple reddish colour and uh, mature males are absolutely stunning. They don't get very big, they're only small and as you know guys my adult female she's got to be around about the nine to a ten inch in leg span so she's absolutely huge. And you can just see the monk there, just at the bottom. And uh, yeah, absolute fresh as anything. Beautiful. It still astonishes me to this day that the amount of size they put on from each monk, they can obtain at least an inch, inch and a half monk, after a, a length, I should say. About an inch and a half in length each time they monk. Can't get my words out. But uh, yeah, he was around about the three and a half inch mark. So he'd be around about the four and a half inch mark now. So yeah, absolute stunning tarantula. So I'll leave him for about another week. Let his body and uh, his fangs harden up. And then I'll offer him some food. So guys, I just thought I'd quickly show you my adult female. And there she is, like I said. 9, 10 inch lag span and that enclosure needs spraying again <laughs> I must spray this enclosure at least 3 times a week but uh, yeah sometimes it is best to get a jug of water and just pour it on the substrate or on the uh, or on the sphagnum moss but yeah she's doing ok I reckon that she's going to molt in the next probably 6 months or so because her uh, bald spot on her abdomen is going a little bit brown so she usually months about once every two years. So it's been nearly two years in January, January 2021. It will be two years since she mounted. So yeah, and uh, she's doing absolutely fantastic. So guys, I think I'll leave him alone now. And uh, like I said, I'll leave the mount in there for a couple of days. I'll probably take it out Monday or Tuesday. And I've just filled up the uh, water dish up as well so yeah fantastic species and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video ladies and gentlemen and thanks for watching everyone